Let's go pee. Hey y'all and welcome back to Jazzy61. So today's going to be a day in the life vlog, you guys, and this is not how it was supposed to start, right? So I accidentally deleted deleted some of the footage. My bad. Um, but I'm just starting my day regular by just making our bed. As I mentioned to you guys in previous videos, I like to start by making my bed because I feel productive from the jump of the day. My husband was gone. You, know, you wake up and you look on the side of the bed and you're like, dude, where where are you at? So I walked around the house and everything and came back and dude was not there i'm like he probably wouldn't have picked up breakfast that's typically what we do on saturday mornings um you guys are going to see the camera trying to adjust several times and then here at the end you're going to also see like i had to switch to my phone because my camera battery died but right now i'm just getting our bed made kind of tidying up our room as well because i don't like to deal or work and move around and mess all day so i'm going to go ahead and get the room cleaned up and straightened up and i'll come back on here in a minute so you guys can see what we're going to do next so now i'm in here just getting my hygiene together you guys yes i know my hair looks rough it has been up for over a month and i know it's time to get my new style going but we have been really busy and the kids keep getting sick as you're going to see here in a second they're actually or our oldest is actually sick now and it has been a doozy of the last few days with him um and this has been like non-stop for the last few months so I am going to go ahead and do my basic hygiene wash my face do my skincare brush my teeth i'm going to brush <laughs> my edges in the back of my hair up because you guys see it like little beady bees right now i gotta work on it i'm, I'm gonna get it together though so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up my skincare and then i'm gonna go in and start kind of getting the boys together for the day before my husband gets back So on the weekends, we typically get some sort of takeout um, for breakfast, whether that's mostly for him, donuts. Excuse his face, he just woke up. <laughs> he typically gets donuts. He can only have them on the weekends. So he typically go for a donut before anything. And then I got Chick-fil-A breakfast. Now, sometimes my husband will go and get like, um, or most of the time he get like I hop and we all sit down in the kitchen and eat or whatever. But he does this weird thing where he'll eat leftovers, but he'll buy us breakfast. So that's what he did this morning. <laughs> he bought me and Kai breakfast in Mari. And he wants to eat leftovers, so I'm just going to let him be great. And then little man is watching Sesame Street cause, because it's Sesame Street. And the dog is chasing my husband around. Being weird, but yeah. We're gonna sit here and have breakfast. Mar buggy, okay? He's coming right back, dude. Chill out. Why does the dog have the zoomies? Oh, okay. Oh, it's also time to administer a little bit of medicine because this little guy started coughing the other day. As I told you guys before, he coughs a lot. The dust and things around here, he gets sick a lot. And so for two straight days, he had like this cough where he couldn't even breathe between coughs. And um, we end up doing his breathing treatments and stuff. And so when that happens, we have to try to catch it before it hits the entire house. So a little man's getting some 
cough medicine as well. So we're just kind of preemptive because he's coughing a little bit, but it's nowhere near as bad as what this fella had going on. <laughs> you his smile. So I guess we're gonna eat breakfast now. I'm about to share my, I shared the hash browns with um, Mari because if not, he's gonna take them anyway or be angry that you didn't give him one. So, so we're gonna have breakfast. Use your towel. Put your towel on. Put your towel on. Can't wait. Can't wait. You can donut. Cover your mouth, guy. Did you give him medicine this morning? Okay, y'all. Um, so, excuse my hair. It looks crazy. We are about to go to Target. Oh, this lighting. I should just stand still. I hate these hanging out back here. Um, we're about to go to Target because as I suspected, our little one is out of formula. So we need to go to Target to get him some formula because that's the only place where they carry his formula. I'll be perfectly fine having a lazy Saturday and doing absolutely nothing, but we gotta move. So we're gonna get up and head to Target here in a second. So let's go. And I wanna address something because I know y'all are gonna see it here in a second and probably I'm looking up here and deep down here. Um, I know y'all gonna see it and be trying to figure out why. Yes, we still wear our mask when we go in public for a couple of reasons. One, germs. Um, it seems that our kids pick up everything everywhere all the time. Um, since we've been here, like I said, it's been pretty much continuous them being sick for like the last two years straight. And I'm not kidding. My five-year-old has maybe had maybe uh, two months or so um, on and off where he hasn't been sick. And it's like a few days here, a few days there in the last two years. Um, and so it's that bad. As you guys probably saw earlier in the video, him coughing like a whole, whole lot while he was trying to eat this morning. We're just getting him sort of better from this most recent time which was like this last week he had two straight days where it was like he was non-stop coughing we had his breathing machine going we had medicine going like and he was still coughing non-stop well so we do it for the germ aspect of it but also because people look at us when our son's just coughing like crazy and it's not so much that he has i, I don't think it's anything that he can like pass to anybody um because it's mostly an allergy thing but people still give you side eyes so regardless of what we do people are gonna give us side eyes if you wear a mask people are like oh why are you wearing a mask but in the minute they hear our son coughing then i'm like oh you know what i mean and so if you're out there and you see people wearing masks still let it be please um and i also do it for the older people because if they do have a cold or a sniffle of any kind and there's elderly people around they can pick up whatever they have and it's so much harder on elderly people's bodies than it is for like us or sometimes for the kids because they've already dealt with it so we're probably going to have a mask while we're out and about just a heads up in case you're wondering this little guy waits for dad to come back and pick him up Dad has to open the doors first. Go we'll say hi. No, right. There you go. We are just bad again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guess we got wait till we got the garage. Cause uh, it's just some good stuff like that. So, so I want to adjust to you. Oh, wait, I got to adjust to me too. Okay. This thing just does not like to adjust on you. I don't know.
Because <laughs> he's cute when he's just walking. Tiny legs. It's probably gonna end up being this one. I wish she would focus better. I'm wondering if I should do the leave-in conditioner too for his hair, this one. Cause right now I'm using that just for me stuff. Can I get two chipotle chicken clubs? Mm -hmm. Two chipotle chicken clubs? Yes. Yes. Okay, and would you like, um, what do you like for your carpet? I want baked legs of mine. Uh, baked legs and sea salt uh, chips. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Now, would you like to add sweetie to this today to make it cheaper? Yes. Yes. Hmm? What can I get you? A blimey limey with ginger. A blimey limey with ginger. A blimey limey with ginger. A blimey limey with uh, peanut butter. Okay, no, no, a blimey limey with peanut butter. Okay, okay. Anything else, please? And a little lime berry. Okay. All right. Is this our today? Yeah. All right, then I'll have you talk about Thank you. What she was saying was, if you add the smoothies instead of, it'll be cheaper. And that's why I said yes, because normally they ring it all up separately and it costs more. Oh. Educating hubs over here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, got it wrong. Stop. Stop. They made you a little lime beer. Mm. Okay, so basically we get the same smoothies every time we come here. We get limey limeys and little wine beer for our son. And we told them <laughs> that they were wrong. And <laughs> she was looking at them like, hmm. Thank you. Now that looks right. So she's looking at the cups and essentially trying to tell us that they're right. Hold this baby because the thing just fell over. Sorry, be not close here. But she's looking at the cups telling us essentially that they're right now we know what we get <laughs> i get a blimey limey with ginger my husband gets a blimey limey with peanut butter and then we get kai a little lime berry so here is a regular my blimey limey you see how it's like pink okay so that's what they normally look like and then kader's is even a little bit lighter because he puts peanut butter in it they're trying to tell us that this And then after the fact, she says, oh, that's a blueberry bliss. Well, we know that because it's not what we order. <laughs> and we come here so often, we know what we order and what it looks like. So they just gave Kai a smoothie, which I think they gave Kai a, a blimey limey as well. And he just took a sip out of it and his face turned sour. So I'm gonna give him the blueberry one because he likes blueberry and hopefully he likes it, but you just love that they're gonna tell you what you're looking at but you know what you're looking at here Bubba try this one you think with it just taste it see if you like it it has blueberry in it like the smoothies from home you don't like it either he not feeling it see that's not the right smoothie that's why we get him the one we buy him it's frustrating so we figured out what they did so they made a blueberry bliss with peanut butter. So it's the peanut butter was right. So the rest was incorrect. That's why when I gave it to Kai, he just went. Yeah. 
<laughs> it doesn't sound right. And it don't taste right either. I thought maybe it would be okay that I would drink it, but there's no way. So we got the um we eat the Chipotle chicken clubs from Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Um, I just randomly tried it one time when we were still living in Arkansas back in like 2019, 2020, something like that. And so, little guy said he didn't want nothing. He just wanted some cheese. <laughs> so he's eating his cheese. Um, but I do add ranch to mine because it makes it taste a little bit better. They don't give, I feel like they don't give you enough sauce at a lot of these places. So I always add extra um, ranch to mine. Hubby got the same thing. And then I was going to get the sea salt, the Mrs. Vicky's sea salt chip that we always get. But something was like, mm mm, them going to be bad. And of course, they didn't even have them. My husband asked for the sea salt chips. They gave him salt and vinegar. I don't even know who eats salt and vinegar chips with the sandwich. They must have burned taste buds because that vinegar would be like. Everything wrong with the world. Let me see, Grace. Y'all yeah, don't be getting on my hair, okay? I'm taking it down so I can redo it. I had the hair already for like two, three weeks at this point, maybe a month, and I just hadn't taken it down. I'm gonna eat it from the other end because this end ain't got a whole bunch of stuff, and so it's probably gonna push backwards. Or go sit in your room. And my husband is feeding the baby too. So, anytime he eats, the kids flock to him. They don't bother me. <laughs> and so, he thought Mari wasn't hungry. But it wasn't that Mari wasn't hungry. Mari wanted his smoothie. Like he always wants his smoothie. See? So he pretty much pushed his snacks and stuff away so he could eat my husband's smoothie. So that's what he's doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat. And then after we eat, it's gonna be time for them to take naps. Um, or at least a little quiet time. We'll try to have a little quiet time in the middle of the day. If we can. The little one always naps about this time between usually 12 and 1.30 or so. He goes down for his nap for the day. On the weekday, Hubs is at work. And so I'll just sit quietly with him and find emails or whatever until he wakes up. Um, I think we're gonna have like a, a family nap time today. <laughs> I think everybody's a little bit tired besides uh, Kai. So yeah, I'm gonna finish lunch. I'll see y'all after a while. Okay guys, so it is now the afternoon. Um, we are up from like nap and stuff. We been up for a while cause it's like later in the afternoon now. But <laughs> we just kind of sat in there and kind of hung out and talked and let the kids play and stuff like that. But I kind of got to get Mari's hair done cause it's looking a little rough. So let's go in here and get little man's hair done because it's going to be a fight. So I'm going to have to start it and then stop and then start it back up in a little while. Cause if I don't, he going to start screaming midway through. So let's go and get Mari's hair together. So this is Mari's hair now. He's trying to grab the camera because he likes the camera. But, oh, getting hit and stuff. But this is his hair right now. It's a little fuzzy, a little dry. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get it done.
Okay, so here's where I'm at. He's turning so you guys can't see, but that is where we, he does that once it's done. Every time he starts shaking his head. Oh, okay. Anywho, that is what it looks like right now. It's a lot smoother and a lot neater. He's still shaking his head. All right, buddy. Um, <laughs> he wants the camera. Uh, but you can see the other side is like really fuzzy and you can't see the parts and things. Um, I know people ask about um, why I don't use rubber bands. Well, I tried to use rubber bands when we first started doing his hair. When I first started, he hated it. He tried to rip them out of his head. He didn't sleep very good. He did not like rubber bands. So I typically will do this method instead because it's less tension on his hair um, and it works. So that's what I'm doing. It's just kind of a two strand twist, but after I put in enough moisturizer so that his hair does not dry out until I redo it. But yeah, this is where we are. We have like this section left because um, he sat still long enough for me to get some of it done. So I'll be back when we are finished. Okay guys, so we are all done. I'm trying to get to get Mari. Mari. Don't give me no more. Um, but we're done. Since I don't use like heavy products in his hair, it's not as like sleek and things like that, which I don't really mind. Um, he likes his hair when it's done. So I have gotten it finished. His parts are neater. <laughs> his hair is re-moisturized, which is the main thing. Um, his little edges look like I need to brush them a little bit more, but other than that, it's fine. Um, yeah, everything's neat and cleaned up and he likes his hair. So that's really all that matters to mama. <laughs> all right. So his hair is done. Um, I need to do mine cause I know y'all see how back my, uh, my hair's grown out pretty much. Um, and so I'm going to do my hair. I got to take it down first and then do all the detangling and it normally takes a really long time. So I typically do my hair once a month or so, um, in like a protective style and I just leave it. Um, my husband, my husband usually helps him take it out. So he'll probably do that later on tonight because right now I just want to sit still. Okay. Probably going to go get some food too, some takeout. Um, cause I think I want some, there's, a, there's one African restaurant in town just one which is interesting when you're married to an african man um <laughs> like i can make some of the dishes he can make some of the dishes but they take a while and i really just don't feel like doing good saturdays like i said i really what are you, what are you doing? saturdays are our really lazy days um because we kind of be busy throughout the week so we have one day of the week where we're just kind of like man so we're probably not going to cook much at all today um we'll probably will do some cooking tomorrow but today Mm -mm. So I'm probably going to go to the one African restaurant in town and get some food uh, before we kind of come back to the house to hang out. We're supposed to go to Sam's today, but I don't think we're going to go. I think we're going to go tomorrow morning. I'm not sure if I'm going to throw that into this vlog or not, or if I'm going to just... I don't even know. I don't know. I ain't going to hold y'all. I don't... I don't know. Today's I don't even try to think. <laughs> That's how today's go. So, yeah, let's um, figure out dinner and then... um. Yeah, look rough. Lord have mercy, y'all. Yeah. I gotta do my hair. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm on it. I had to be on it because it's been, it's been a month. <laughs> so, I'll see y'all in a little while. I don't know where that was. I think I saw it in like a, a K drama. My mirroring skills ain't as good, I guess, because I don't know how people be doing this in these little mirrors in the car. Like, how? I, am I too close? I, you know what? I don't even care. I, I give up. Oh, yeah. And to get to the place, we have to go to the other side of town. Like, clear across town to get to the one African restaurant that exists. Uh, I want to give me um. Okay, guys. So we are back from the restaurant. I'm gonna show you guys what my food looks like. Um, <coughs> plantain looks really oily today, but this is what I typically get. I don't get a good angle of it, but it's like beef and uh, jollof rice. And then our kids get like a kid's thing, but it comes like a piece of chicken and they don't eat the chicken. So we typically get that. And then there's like fried plantain as well, or plantain, depending on where you, where you from, how you say it. But yep, yeah, everybody's eating. 
guys looking really confused. <laughs> but my husband got my fave, which is the peanut soup. And depending on which part of um, Africa you get it from, like the person that made it, they make it differently. So, Mara wanted rice. He loves the jollof rice. So, he's gonna yell in a second because Kader moves really slow when he's feeding him sometimes. So he screams because he's waiting for another bite of food and daddy's over there getting ice. So I'm hoping this tastes good because they recently, cause we've been eating here for like the last two years because they had closed down to like renovate and then they opened back up. So one day I found out they opened back up. We went up there. We've been going up there for like the last two years almost. Well, over the last, I would say maybe two months, they got a new, a new cook, a new chef in there. And so you can tell which one, you can, it's different. It's distinctively different. <laughs> and I think there's like three of them and you can tell when the, when it's a different one. So some of, one of them makes the good meat cause it's like a beef, a stewed beef with tomato. One makes a really good beef and then the other one makes a really good jolla. And then one does a really good plantain, plantain. But these look really oily compared to sometimes how they look. So here's hoping that it's not the one I don't like. Cause there's one I just don't like nothing that they make. This one makes a good rice. <laughs> I don't know who they are. Cause we don't, we don't eat in, we've never, well, he has with some of his friends for there, but we haven't ate in. So I don't know who, which person it is, but I can always tell one based off the color, but also it tastes a bit different. And also African food has a different spice level. So you have to tell them the spice level. I typically get my food mild. This one made the rice more spicy than the meat. So the meat's like not really spicy at all, but the rice is kind of spicy. Not really, but it's got a spice to it. So we gonna eat. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, so it's getting dark. It's getting late. We're gonna start getting ready for bed here in a bit because it's you know summertime and stuff so it's like the sun is up for a little longer during the day that sort of thing my son was my husband must have played amari he be playing just fine until one of us walk in the room and all of a sudden he want to cry about everything like everything anyway my husband decided to play the naruto theme song in the car so me and my son both can walk around da, 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 da. why don't know Ooh, this thing takes some time to or just sorry but my lights are just and i'm trying to get the windows and the blinds and then shutting it down little man over there he's in there because if we don't my guy is going to run around the house okay he gonna get into everything i don't feel like doing that right now so i'm gonna leave it but he gonna get into everything knock everything down I don't want to. So, I don't know if I'm gonna end the vlog tonight or tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. What you think, Mar? Tomorrow? We might do tomorrow. We gonna see though. All right, y'all. Let me get comfortable because that's what I do. I get comfortable. I see my hair look rough. I'm probably gonna have to take it down at night. So if y'all see me tomorrow, my hair looking rough. My business, okay? I know it's gonna be bad. Okay? Don't judge my life. This is for you? Yeah. Okay, tell me what it is again. It's a supreme. It's a supreme. What's the other thing? A salmon, a salmon pie. A salmon pie. Well, thank you so much for bringing the food in here today. I appreciate it. You have a great presentation. It has extra spice chip. It has wines on salmon. And it puts squish watermelon on it's a okay thank you welcome so i have to add this to this vlog you guys because let me tell you something i am 
so grateful for you guys who support me on all of my platforms because I post I told you guys recently that I am just trying to get more comfortable in my own school in my own skin excuse my bug learning his alphabet but I'm trying to get back to where I'm more comfortable in my skin and not be putting off this this false confidence right so as some of you know I used to model I used to be a model and they essentially it's a fake it till you make it so if in your head you can't do something in your head the runway is scary in your head you pretend like you are top model and you walk anyways with this level of confidence even if you don't have it right so you kind of and i think a lot of women have this fake it till you make it mentality so even if they're not comfortable even if they're not confident they still push through and i post pictures and videos of myself now um doing like the um uh, changing clothes and trying different things um clothing wise because i'm really trying to get comfortable in my skin and get comfortable with different styles because i usually wear mostly athletic wear right so <laughs> i posted this video um maybe try to put a little picture of the outfit or something on the screen but i posted the video and y'all i really was not going to post it because after i'd done it i had been going through it over and over again and i just didn't like how I call it my mommy pouch or my kangaroo pouch um, looked, right? And so I'm just like, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. And so I was like talking myself out of it. My husband has this thing where he says, um, I kind of over critique and over analyze. So don't think about it. I just kind of post it, right? And so that was one of those videos where it was like, I really don't want to post this because I don't like how I look, but I'm going to do it anyways. And I just did it. Y'all, I think y'all got more confidence in me than I got in me. <laughs> but I, I appreciate it because it helps me continue. It also kind of helps me to see the good that I don't see sometimes. Because you know how sometimes we get tunnel vision. We just see that one thing that's wrong and we just stare at it and stare at it and stare at it. And that's kind of what happened to me. But after posting it, so many of you come to the comments and it's so encouraging and it's so uplifting. So I really appreciate you guys for that. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, so I have started the process of taking my hair down. This is what my hair does, my natural hair. It's very thick and you see I haven't taken much down. But it's difficult to take down to detangle the whole nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Okay, guys, it's all taken down, detangled, and all that good jazz. I don't know if you can really finish it. Huh? It's just twisted up. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Probably have to do some washing and deep conditioning tomorrow on it. But for now, I'm going to sleep. Good night, guys.